Nabila Ramdani, a journalist who specialises in the Middle East and North Africa, uh, Tripoli claims that this was a clear assassination attempt. How crucial is the reaction of the Arab world going to be in all of this now? Well, it's very clear that uh, the NATO coalition is very much applying double standards in terms of dealing with dictators across the region. Uh, let's not forget that the reason why NATO, the UN, and uh, later on NATO got involved in, into all this was to prevent a potential onslaught against civilians in Benghazi. Now, we are witnessing an actual massacre against civilian population in Syria, and yet the international community is very cautious about what to do and what to say in the Syrian uh, uh, and yet, instance. Presumably it could be stretched in terms of UN Resolution 1973 to protect civilians in civilian populated areas by attacking a, a command centre like that. You could say that you were protecting civilians. Well, I think it would stretch it uh, way too far. Uh, there have been uh, several instances and uh, occasions to try to end Gaddafi, to try to bring about regime change and to end Gaddafi physically. And let's not forget that on day two of the conflict, his compound was already targeted. So I, I don't think uh, we should at this point uh, question the legality of uh, the NATO coalition and their action. Saif al-Arab, the sixth son, I think he was only 26, wasn't widely known. Uh, what more do you know about this man? Well, he's the youngest uh, son of Gaddafi. He, I think he's 29, uh, actually. He's 29, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. He studied in Germany. He has a very low profile. Uh, he hasn't particularly been involved in all the politics of the regime until, of course, the rebellion started when he showed loyalty to the Gaddafi clan and uh, uh, showed defiance himself towards uh, Western action against his country. Uh, and had been in command, I think, of several units, military units, uh, for, his, for, for, his, for his, his father. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the international reaction now, where do you see this moving? Well, I think it's, it's very clear that the uh, NATO is going well beyond the uh, remits of the uh, UN Resolution 1973. Not only we've seen how uh, uh, Western countries have uh, very blatantly backed up rebels, uh, uh, offering them all sorts of help, which is not in the terms of the UN resolution, and it's uh, repeated its airstrikes. The day it should be uh, highlighted that uh, before uh, the Gaddafi compound was hit uh, uh, yesterday, uh, NATO airstrikes also hit um, uh, the uh, building which uh, hosts the uh, um, Down Syndrome Society, but also an orphanage. So, uh, and uh, US reports actually uh, state that so far uh, 30,000 people have been killed in the conflict. But, but, but in terms of that Down Syndrome building. I mean, potentially these buildings and these charities could be used, couldn't they, as cover for strategic uh, locations for the regime? But the reality is the, uh, the civilians uh, are being killed in the process. Uh, and that's one aspect that uh, one should bear in mind at all times. Not only uh, Gaddafi soldiers uh, have uh, died so far, and it should be stressed that these are people who uh, are forced to defend a nasty regime under duress. So they are human beings. Rebels, of course, have been killed both by Gaddafi forces and by NATO warplanes, and civilians are dying day in, day out. Nabila Ramdani, we must stop there, but thank you very much indeed.